All these people, you love Zion Williamson, right? Uh, I don't know. I mean, look, he's great, but who is the most exciting player in college basketball? If you're looking for that mid-major, it's going to mess up your bracket. It could be Ja Morant. Projects right now to be a very high lottery pick, maybe in the top three. He's got defying dunks. He's trying to become the first guy since assists became an official statistic to go 20 points, 10 assists in a game. Who you got? Most exciting player in the country, Ja or Zion? I got Ja for one reason. It's not just his shot. It's not just his dunking. It's his vision. That dude drops dimes that you cannot believe. He has incredible vision. Look, Zion Williamson is a freak show. There's no doubt about it. But this dude does it with the ball at the rim and also getting others involved. Russell Westbrook. Yeah. Yep. Russell Westbrook. It's 14 straight years the Jayhawks have won the Big 12, but now Yudoka Azubuki is hurt. They've got freshman guards. They're yanking red shirts off of dudes. And even BPI says that Texas Tech is the favorite to win the Big 12. So the age-old, time-honored game day question, Kansas or the field set? I'm going with the field. And look, this Kansas team, they've played small before, and I understand that. But they played small with senior guards. They played small with Frank Mason, Devontae Graham, Sumi Mikailu. They've got young guards. They can't protect the front of the rim. They struggle rebounding on the defensive end. I think there are more good teams in the Big 12 that can unseed them. I'm going with the field. You know what? You should go with Kansas. I don't care if the Golden State Warriors went into the Big 12. They'd find a way to spit the bit, take Kansas until proven <laughs> otherwise. It'll be 15 straight, right? You know, I don't know if you've heard this or not, but the government has shut down over concerns about the southern border security. In college basketball, it's invaders from the north who are doing some serious damage. Canadians, although doing it politely, are wreaking havoc <laughs> in the country. It's not just R.J. Barrett. How about this guy, Izzy Brasdakis of undefeated Michigan? I mean, he gave Carolina 24 to announce his coming out and his arrival. So what do you think? Is Michigan, I think Michigan might be the best team in the country, best undefeated team anyway. What do you do? I, I disagree. I, I think Tennessee is the best team in the country. I think Michigan is by far the class of the Big Ten. I think Michigan State is creeping up in that category as well. But I just love the way Tennessee is playing between Grant Williams, Admiral Schofield, the way they defend their length, the versatility of how they can exchange parts defensively. Tennessee is my pick to be the best team in the country. Well, on the subject of that, because Duke's number one right now, they might not be next week after the loss to Syracuse. But if you don't like Michigan, if Virginia doesn't get by tonight, could it be Tennessee with all of that veteran uh, nucleus that they have? They've got some things that Duke doesn't have. They've got veterans leading the way. They've got a win over Gonzaga. Could Tennessee be the best team in the country? He thinks so. Do you? They can be. I think Michigan's the best team right now. But there are five or six teams that are in there to be the best team at the end. But with Williams and Schofield, the two top scorers, one and two in the SEC, and then Jordan Bone at the point is really fast with the ball, and they're all older, and they got old together. So as you say, they have shared experience, but they've been kicked around, they've been good together, and now they have a chance to be great together. And Bone is like the Trey Jones of that Tennessee team. He kind of keeps it all together with Grant Williams and Admiral Schofield. Hey, dude, you know what? You know a team we haven't really talked much about? A team that lost to Furman, a team that lost to Penn, team that lost most of their players to NBA last year. The reigning champion Villanova Wildcats. But now I'll take a look at where Villanova is sitting atop the Big East again and improving quickly. Villanova going to be back by the end? I think they're working their way towards it. I mean, I think a lot comes down to Phil Booth and their ability, their veterans to lead this young basketball team. But they defend hard and they're finding their rhythm. Sweet 16 team.